And Matt's going to manage it. You alright? Come in the second seat. First question. Um, why is good attendance important in Sainsbury's? Attendance is really important because obviously as a service company we have to serve our customers and if we don't have the colleagues in the business we can't serve our customers. But it's also really important for morale in the store. So for example if you two were working on a department together and you phoned in sick or was off all the time, you'd be able to do more work so how would you feel? Perhaps it, you wouldn't feel great so it's really important for first of serving our customers but also for colleague morale that actually they can work together and you're doing the right amount of work. Um, what would happen if one of your employees had lots of time off work? Well if somebody has a lot of time off work we sort of work with them at first so obviously when they, they phone in sick or off cert they come, they come back we start something called a return to work process so we come back we fill a questionnaire in see how they are see the reasons why they're off sick and then we go through that and then if they keep phoning in sick for the same reason we have something called a well-being meeting where we sit down with them and work with them to say why you're sick, can we support you and we have a lot of support networks within Sainsbury's of counselling and etc if it's something like that but if it goes down the line eventually there's a possibility that a colleague could lose the job so we do a lot of work with them to try and keep the colleagues employed but if attendance is really bad and it gets to the stage where they're not attending work at all potentially the colleagues can lose the job. Do you check references and is attendance included on them? We check all references so if we take a new colleague on they come with normally two references and obviously the references are obviously trustworthy, reliability and absence. So reliability works hand in hand with absence so if someone's reliable they're going to turn up for work so we do check that for absence yes. Would you say that your employees are good with attendance? They are now. We're very good with attendance. Um, a couple of years ago, our absence was quite high, but now we've introduced the wellbeing meetings, and actually, if we sit down and work with colleagues, our attendance is probably one of the best on our region. Um, last week, we only had 50 hours out of the business through sickness, which probably two or three years ago was at 200. So yeah, it's getting better. Hello, I'm Rebecca Mitchell, and I'm a self-employed dentist working in the Matlock area. Um, what would happen if one of your colleagues was? constantly late to work? Um, well, this would tend to create sort of a bit of bad feeling within the team uh, because other people would have to sort of um, take over their duties um, to minimise the disruption to the patients. So for example, if the receptionist was late, then there would be no one to welcome the patients into the practice, um, nobody to deal with the phone inquiries. So this role would have to be covered by one of the nurses which would mean that one of the surgeries couldn't start running as usual. Um, and again, if one of the nurses was late, then I as a dentist couldn't start working without an assistant. And it doesn't only affect us, but it also affects the patients coming in. Hello. Hi. Is it okay if we have some questions? Absolutely. Why is good attendance important in your workplace in your opinion? There's a number of reasons why good attendance is important. First of all, it shows that the employee is committed to the company, that they want to do a good job, that they're enthusiastic to be there every day. So turning up on time means you're ready for work and you're ready to get going and you want to be here. The other reasons are we're a service provider. So we say to our customers, we'll be open to serve you from this time. If you turn up late, we're in effect letting our customers down, we're not providing them with the service that we've promised and that, uh, that would be a really serious failure. I think the other thing I'd say to you, when you're attending work, if you're running late, it can tend to start your day off really badly as well because you feel rushed right from the start. So getting in on time or a little bit early and getting yourself sorted, ready for the minute you start work, is really important for, for both the employer and employee. Um, do you check references and is, it, and is attendance included on them? We do check references and attendance is a main part of those references. So if we, get, if we do a reference request and it comes back saying such a body 
you know, um, Tom and Stephen are really good at their job, but they only turn up 50% of the time, we wouldn't move forward with your employment, we'd say we're sorry, we're not able to offer you that post. So it's a real barrier to actually getting um, the job in the end. Do you two turn up to school every day and on time? Mm. No. Do you understand it's a different consequence from school and employment in terms of yes. the time scales are much quicker and the sanctions can be much harsher? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So when you've done this project, are you all when you go into the workplace, are you going to give that much more thought and start by turning up to school on time? Yeah. It's a really great uh, thing to get into the habit of doing. So if you're on time for school, you'll be on time for work. Why is good attendance important? Um, good attendance for us is really important because it, it has a real um, impact on employee morale. Um, so if we're missing employees in the day, it has a real impact on other members of staff that are having to pick up extra workload and that can be really frustrating sometimes. Um, it's also really important from a cost perspective. Um, if we have a gas plumber off for a week, we're looking at about £1,000 it's costing the business. He has two weeks off for two thousand pound, um, and sort of looking at our, our figures of attendance as a whole in May um, alone, we lost over sixteen thousand pounds worth of um, business hours, um, and, and that's a hell of a lot of money to lose. How do you feel if you have to co cover a job? Um, it's frustrating, I think, because you've still got all your own job to do um, and then to sort of double that in size and take on somebody else's job is incredibly difficult. Um, our problem here is that we have a lot of uh, our customers are um, people um, in homes that need repairs and sometimes you know, it's really important that we get out quickly to people that are vulnerable or elderly. Um, so, you know, in, t in times where we're really short staffed because people aren't attending work, it could mean that our service to them isn't as good as it should be. At what time do you start work? Um, 8 a.m. But we have to get here a bit earlier because it won't be started for 8. Like, so we need to be ready to work by 8. Why is good attendance important? Um, it's important when you work for a company because everyone has a set role and set responsibilities. So if you're not here, you're not going to be able to do that work yourself and it'll get passed on to another team member. And how do you feel if you have to cover a job? Because we all like work as a team, it is like you do know the other person's job but you're not like a specialist in it sort of thing. So you, it is more difficult if that person's not here. It is like, I find it's quite a lot of pressure yeah. to do somebody else's job because you don't know if you've done it right or if it's if it's how they do it, so it could affect somebody else if you do it differently. But like I say, you do and all know it. You, you do like, don't know what it. they've done, like they could have done something on the day before, or they might be planning to do it, so it's hard because you don't know what they're doing. Why is the thing important for the job? Uh, it helps you get a job. Uh, you need your attendance so you cannot get a job. If you don't, if you don't attend, you struggle to get a job. Yeah. Don't show up to work, normally you get a sack, especially here. Yeah, if you turn up late, then uh, you get a few warnings, but after a few times it starts to take the main and you won't get a sack. I was at college, <coughs> my attendance weren't great, but uh, you need it to help you get a job, because if your attendance isn't good, most places won't even touch it. Why is good attendance important? In order to be able to deliver the services um, to our community service users and deliver them effectively, we need we need people to attend work and be in post. So um, high high attendance, high absence levels um, does impact on that significantly. And intermittent absences can also cause more of a problem than long term absences, because you have to react on a day to day basis to people not being in. What happens if one person has lots of time off? Um, depending on the reasons, we would get them in what we call an attendance management procedure. Um, we would look to manage their, their health. If they're intermittent absences, we try and get the underlying reasons as to why and get support from occupational health. Or if it was long term, we would look to put mechanisms in place to support them back to work. If it's not possible or they continue to have um, unacceptable levels of attendance, it could lead to, to dismissal because we can't actually sustain that for the services.
What happens if one of your employees is late? If somebody is late, the manager would speak to them to find out if there was a genuine reason for them being late and hopefully it's not, you know, they've laid in bed and they just can't be bothered to get in. Um, if somebody is persistently late, it would cause concern for the manager and they would probably have to go into more of a formal procedure to manage that. What happens if one person has lots of time off? really affects the team. Um, you know, we want to make sure, in our volunteering team, we want to make sure the volunteers are getting a really quick and good response. So if we don't have enough people, that's going to be delayed. People, you know, we want to give a really good service, and that's really affected. Um, but I think it just, it, it affects other people's workload as well. It's not just your workload. People then have to cover for you. So if you take time off, it's actually affecting your entire team. Do you check the references and the attendance? Uh, is that included as well? So we ask, um, you know, how reliable is that person? Do they turn up on time? And that really affects it. If you had two CVs and one person had a, had a reference that said, fantastic, they turn up on time, they're so reliable. And then if you had one that said, mm, turned up late a couple of times, one is definitely going to appeal more than the other. What happens if one of your employees is late? We just, we're, we're quite a caring workplace, so I think we just worry. You think, oh, where is that person, what's happened? So we always try and get in contact, we try and call them, see if they're okay. So, Baron, what is this going to make you change about your attendance? Yeah, well, I'm going to try and get to school more um, and get my attendance better because if you have poor attendance, it's going to affect you later on in life. What about you, Teal? I try and get to school on time and not be late and because like Byron said it affects you later on in life if you have bad attendance.